Hey, this is Keith from Blurred Out BZ. A uh, little DIY project today. If you are anything like me, you don't love these, especially if you've got an umbrella on it. So this is on the on a, a tripod or on a uh, light stand. Kind of just kind of not not awesome compared to what we what is very common in um, for cameras is that trigger grip that I have on here, and I spent Frodo. So, in my box of junk, I had this, I don't know where it came from, thrift store or something, but of course, every time you buy a tripod, there's a very good chance you're not gonna have the little bracket for the camera, it's just missing, it's just, that's life, right? But I picked this up somewhere along the line and thought, as I was shooting the other day, I thought I would love a pistol grip on this umbrella. So, let's try it. So I bought this from Amazon. It is a an umbrella ch -ch -ch, umbrella holder, a multiple flash, but it just seemed good because it had a hole in the bottom and I thought I'll be able to mount that on there pretty easily. Um, I also bought this because this, like many things that go on tripods, has a 3 8 female threaded hole but most uh, the top of a tripod and the top of a light stand is a quarter inch. What I didn't realize was this actually has one built into it so I can just use that. Um, I'm gonna put some thread lock on here so that if I put it pretty tightly onto a light stand when I take it off the whole thing is going to come off and just not leave this on the on the light stand. That good and tight. You're getting old. Can't see. It sucks. Um, now the screw that held this on is pretty specialized designed to go into that countersunk countersunk hole there so I got a bolt the same I only had long ones so I had to cut this down but I'm hoping this will work I think it's gonna be a bit kludgy actually getting it on there but once it's on it should just hold pretty firm uh, tip if you're ever cutting down a bolt because you need a shorter bolt Always put a nut on above where you cut because by taking that nut off you clean up those threads that you just cut. Still, this might give me a little bit of a fight. And I think just the tightness of the head in the confines of the space is going to be enough for me to just torque it on there. Pretty sure this is just gonna work because the bolt won't, won't yeah the bolt's not gonna spin in there so all I need to do is keep going or please go a little bit more without breaking anything yeah there we go that's facing front let's try it see now I want one of these on my ring light uh. Shooting on a D5300. Now, if you know me you, and you know my attitudes about Nikon D3000 series or D5000 series, you know that I'm really not a big fan at all.
because of backward lens compatibility. But I gotta say, for this kind of thing, it's hard to beat. Video is hard to beat with the turnaround screen. Okay, so so far so good. Um, all of these ball joints that I've seen anyway have a little have a little grub screw somewhere on the body or some way that you can loosen something off, then pull the trigger, then torque something down so that the pistol has, if over time it gets loose, you can make this ball tighter. You can make the, so that it doesn't kind of slide. So this is super tight now. I tightened it up a little bit. So let's see what it's like with the weight of flash on it. Now it's not a, it's not going to win any awards. Eight ninety nine for this bracket. It's not going to win any awards for quality. But hey, I think it's going to work. That spring isn't the clamp, it's this crappy, I guess umbrella shafts have different diameters and this is a smaller one. It still springs closed on it, but it has a bit of bounce. But hey, that's, that's good job. I can't wait to use that. That's awesome. Um, sweet. Let me know in the comments if you have any other similar kind of DIY projects. I'm always up for a fun little project on a Saturday afternoon. Have a good one.